Welcome back guys, Toby here, and this is Driven Intent, and today, oh yes, I have with me a 2019 Mercedes 63 AMG. Yes, the Mercedes for 2019, I'm driving this car in 2020, I gotta figure out uh, this car is still up in this game for 2020, even though it's a 2019 model, this one I'm driving has like 5,000 miles on it, so it's been driven in, just got traded in, and I had the opportunity to drive it, thanks for my boys again, once again, big shout out to you guys, Audi Plano. Alright guys, before I start this video, like this video, subscribe to my channel, boost my ego, also helps the YouTube algorithm, you know, the more likes I get on this video, the more my videos get pushed up in the chain and get recommended videos, but back to the intro. Alright guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about the exterior, I'm going to look around the exterior, the design features, design cues, headlights, taillights, side profile, overall, how this car is aesthetically pleasing to the eyes when you, you know, approach the vehicle or when you're leaving the car, the wheels, how overall this car comes together as a cohesive package and how the design features of, of the Mercedes AMG works that I've done to this car, make this car look very appealing. And then, we're going to dive in, into the interior, from the dashboard, the steering wheel, Overall, the materials, leather, wood, soft touch materials here and there, um, the technology, the spa space, storage space, legroom, headroom, all that free good features about the interior, how this car is being designed, and then we're gonna drive this car on a test drive as I am doing right now. I'm gonna look, focus on the handling, performance, uh, the exhaust note, overall the um, driver to machine um, connection, when you drive a car, the way it makes you feel, the brake in. This car has mass, massive brakes, guys. Overall, if this car is worth the price tag of around seventy thousand dollars that is the uh, pre-owned um, asking price for uh, audi plano to me that's not like a good deal to me because i remember correctly the 2018 2019 brand new um amg 63s they started around like eighty five thousand dollars i love this silver on this mercedes guys mercedes looks good in silver and pretty much any performance car in like audi mercedes they look good in silver and gray so somehow it really works very well Maybe just how we're conditioned to like them. Anyways, besides the point, I love the exterior of this car, guys. The headlights is very, very striking with the daytime running LED strip. It looks very, very iconic. It has that pronounced feel. And that big Mercedes emblem on there in the front is just at you in your face. Like, it's just like pearls. You haven't even gotten to the car to drive it yet. You gotta feel like this car is gonna be fast. You can feel that power lurking underneath that engine. Speaking about the engine, more on it later. It's a twin turbo charge, four liter, twin turbo, uh, twin scroll turbo, twin turbo charge. I said that twice. Um, AMG engine pushing about 503 horsepower. The lines, the beautiful curls, very classic Mercedes design. Um, you know, Audi and Mercedes have that little curves and design features that I like a lot, but they know what they're doing. They have that Q, uh, keen um, attention to detail. I like that a lot. And then my favorite part about the exterior is the quad exhaust tips. Not only are the quad exhaust tips, they have black out quad exhaust tips and then underneath the bumper you have a rear diffuser guys that is just strike sportiness first of all what's your work on them is this brush metal black leather all around guys it's done so well like when the car is off that's one thing i love about cars like audi does it a lot when the car is off it has a simple feel like you there's no there's not that many that much buttons a lot i really like that a lot it's very cool at night it looks very very striking i do like that a lot i'm gonna turn off the um auto start stop feature because annoying um but yeah the interior is very very nice i love this dashboard the gauge cluster is one of my favorites mercedes is going in head to head in my opinion with the aldi's virtual cockpit guy very easy to read all the information you need right then and there this one unfortunately does not have the um head of display that's unfortunate but i can live without it because this car is based on a three horsepower that's all i need for the time being and then you dive looking down the center console or the dashboard with this iconic this cool steering wheel it's got like square square donut steering wheel square shaped steering wheel almost a square steering wheel guys there's the 93 grips are flat on the sides has that gives that a nice bolstering nice grip the uh perforated leather and then it is a flat bottom a flat bottom yes thank you mercedes amg a flat bottom steering wheel guys 
that is what you need in a car in this category or so cars in this category guys they know what they're doing and then icing on the cake Mercedes has the uh, drive controls mode right here from custom or custom sport sport plus and then checker flag race mode that's just um bonkers in my opinion uh, i'm gonna leave this in sport not sport plus because when you put in sport plus and then race mode the suspension it just beats you up man just batters you just bumpy roads kind of like the velocity end and then to the left of that you have your uh, two more dials now you have your uh, transmission select them button right here well it's either the dynamic or you can have it in manual mode so i'm gonna leave it in dynamic because i'm talking to you guys i don't want to shift there's too many things going on at the same time i'm in a school zone you get the point but i love that how mercedes put all those buttons right to your arms reach you don't have to think about it you just know where it's at i can look not even look at it just go to the buttons and change it the infotainment system guys i have this beautiful display up front uh i can't remember what the display size is and put it on the screen right here to your right it's just beautiful it's nice i can turn it off if i want to it has navigation let's turn it back on it has navigation um apple carplay android auto which is always nice you know 2019 all the cars have that feature it's very long almost like oled display like the A6 that I reviewed a couple of last week ago. But this car has all that connectivity, all the things you need in Mercedes. It's very, very nice. You have dual climate control zones in this car. And I have, I love the uh, the vents. It's actual metal. I love that about Mercedes. You can opt in for the uh, carbon fiber package if you want to, but the wood just sits well just fine. You know, it's kind of a taste, a quiet taste, so to speak. You want carbon fiber? I know, I actually like wood because everyone wants carbon fiber. You know, that's something different, you know? You do things differently, guys. And you have your storage right here, two cup holders, and then your USB for your Apple CarPlay. You know, it's not, it's not wireless, but you plug it in and then Again, you have the selector right here. You would expect to have the transmission lever right there, but it's on the column. It's there. Mercedes is very, very iconic and popular for doing that. Hey, the Mercedes, it does get the job done. I like that. It feels like a diamond minivan or something. Push button right here in the center console. You have two more USB ports down there. You have some SD card. It's pretty much shallow. Front seats, driver's side, front seats is very comfortable. The seats are fully adjustable, you know, automatic, all automatic from lumbar support, thigh extensions, you know, side bolstering. Guys, this car has it all. There's leg room, leg room for the front passengers, leg room for the back passengers. Overall, if you fit, this car can sit comfortably four people in this car, four grown adults in this car, five, maybe you have a little kid in the middle, but you guys know what it is. This has a sports sedan, fit people comfortably. Overall, guys, this interior from the seats to the things, the materials, the build quality is A plus, top notch. There's no rattling. The materials that are used, choice of material, leather, it all makes sense for the 2019 Mercedes C 63S. I like that a lot. And then, now how this car drive, guys? So I'm just driving right here in Plano, Texas. I'm trying to find some good runs to do some pulls, you know. Let me do some zero to 60, but I don't really care about that. This car is already powerful enough. 503 horsepower, guys. What make this car unique for 503 horsepower? Well, this car for the same design features, engine, um, how Mercedes does the, uh, almost like the hot V setup. So the turbos are strapped in between the turn of the banks. You guys, heard us, you guys have heard this a lot of times, but that makes for better fuel efficiency. Miles per gallon, 23 city, 34 on the highway. Also, the turbos spool up a lot faster. There's almost zero turbo lag. Like that. <laughs> it's almost a zero turbo lag, guys. It's just insane. 503 horsepower, 500 plus pound, pound feet of torque, guys. This car pulls and pulls for days. I love the, uh, the traction. The braking quality is very, very good. The initial bite is there, guys. It feels very, very meaty. I love brakes that feel very, very meaty. Like once you get on it, you know the car is gonna stop on a moment's notice. I like that a lot. The steering wheel kind of feels heavy depending on the um, the mode you're in. If you're in dynamic, sport, sport plus, obviously it's gonna feel a lot stiffer. The suspension is gonna feel a lot stiffer. I put it in comfort mode. The suspension gets you know comfortable as well. Everything that you get in comfort, you know, says balance for the exhaust, suspension and comfort, you know, transmission, you know, it's gonna smooth shift like butter, you know, pretty much. I like the way the transmission, uh, the upshift is not that quick, but the downshift is right on par, guys, right on point. There isn't that much road noise as far as I can tell right now. Um, it's not highway speeds, but it's very, very quiet in here. I do like the um, glass roof right here. It makes this car feel much more open and refreshing, and it's Take a look more about the uh, interior. I like that a lot. Car, you just feel there's some sort of feeling like a prestige, you know, like it's you feel like you're driving a very, very um, well thought out, built family sports sedan. Like all the little pieces here and there is there for a reason. Well, that is all I have time for today. 
thanks again for staying with me to the end if you did i'll encourage you guys to smash that like button no annihilate the like button because of youtube's algorithm helps boost my ego up for no freaking reason i love that a lot and then uh, let me know down in the comment section below what you think about this car you want to get this car like you want to get a car like this you know this guy's a pre-owned guys it's cheap for a pre-owned car five thousand miles let me know what car i want to get and also in the comment section below let me know what cars you want me to review the future if I find that entertaining, I'm gonna review that car in the future. Just tag me below, whatever you wanna say. Give a shout out below, hey, this car, whatever, whatever, whatever. You know what to do. Also, subscribe to my channel, guys. If you enjoy my content, enjoy looking at this beautiful, handsome face. Until next time, stay true to yourself and stay driven, guys. Peace.